Princess are not viewed as high level enough to represent King in Prince William's absence. Princess Anne is not viewed as high level enough to represent the King in Prince William's absence, royal sources have claimed. The Prince of Wales, 41, is likely unable to replace King Charles during his Simone tour later this year. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The monarch is thought to be adamant about travelling to Samoa for the October 21st Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOPM. Medical Council has advised the king against long-term travel during his cancer treatment, but the 75-year-old is determined to go. The Princess of Wales is also battling cancer, therefore, William is unlikely to fill in for his father as he cares for his wife. Kate made her cancer diagnosis public in a moving video a few weeks after the king disclosed his illness. The princess, 42, revealed that following her scheduled abdominal surgery in January, post-operative tests had revealed her diagnosis. An insider told the Daily Express, attending the CHOPM is not something William can take on at this time due to Kate's health, and although Anne and other working royals are doing a great job stepping in to plug the gaps at home, they are not viewed as high level enough to represent the sovereign as leader of the Commonwealth. Due to their roles not being senior enough, Princess Anne and Prince Edward will unlikely be permitted to attend. The 76-year-old Queen will accompany the King on his October visit, should he be permitted to travel. Discussing the tour, the source added, King Charles's presence at both the Commonwealth meeting, and in Australia is viewed as instrumental in preserving Commonwealth unity. Despite medical advice recommending against travelling long distances, particularly due to the time difference which can add to exhaustion, the King remains resolute in his decision to undertake the trip. The five-day trip was previously confirmed for October 21 to 25, before Charles's diagnosis back in February. Despite the King's cancer diagnosis, Buckingham Palace have said that nothing is ruled in or out with future engagements planned subject to doctor's advice. Since battling cancer, the King has curtailed his public appearances. On Easter Sunday at Windsor, King Charles led other members of the royal family at a church service. Royal commentators have spoken exclusively to GB News about the important role Princess and plays for the royal family. Gertrude Daly said, Princess Anne has always quietly done royal duties without much pomp and circumstance. She is the person who does the meat and potatoes of royal duties. The person you send when who you send isn't too important. Princess Anne is widely regarded as the hardest working royal and carried out a whopping 457 engagements in 2023. The royal takes on many foreign engagements for the family, in January the princess travelled to Sri Lanka on a three-day tour at the request of the Foreign Office. Daly continued, Princess Anne has mostly just been keeping up with her own schedule of official engagements. But there have been some events like investitures that Princess Anne has taken over that would usually be shared with King Charles and Prince William. I think Princess Anne is doing what she has always done throughout the ups and downs in the royal family which is keep calm and carry on. This week, the Princess Royal travelled to Northern Ireland where she was greeted by students at a college campus in Enniskillen. Marlene Koenig also exclusively told GB News, the Princess Royal is a workhorse. She will be 74 in August, an age when most people are retired. She has an innate sense of duty, toward the crown, toward her sovereign. Anne is doing what she has been doing since age 18. She has her charities, her patronages, and she undertakes engagements on behalf of the sovereign. She is an integral part of the royal family. The princess's hard work pays off in the polls, and was voted the third most popular royal in a recent poll by YouGov. And scored a 71% positive rating and only 13% of respondents held a negative view of the royal. 
Princess Kate was voted the most popular royal with a 76% favorable rating closely followed by Prince William with 73%. The British royal family's hardest-working royal has already embarked on her second tour of the year, as Princess and Jet set to the United Arab Emirates this month in her role as President of the Mission to Seafarers.